Welcome back to the Bluegrass. It's a beautiful July evening. I got my man Maxie out and George is behind the camera. Come on, Maxie. And we're doing a fun little drill, a little hiking drill that we do in the evenings uh, where we bring the dogs out and we make them wait their turns. And so we got some dogs that have to wait while we go on a little hike with the other dogs. And uh, some of the dogs are here, like Maxie, for a uh, little bit of retriever training uh, You know, later on in life. He's gonna be a house dog that goes hunting sometimes. And so what we want is we want the dog to get excited when he sees the shotgun come out and understand that a fun activity is uh, on the horizon. You know, he's gonna go out, think some guys have shotguns, the shotguns are gonna be loud, and then things are gonna fall out of the sky, and he's gonna get a chance to do that which is retrieve, which is Maxie's favorite thing in the world to do, right? You know? Now, the problem that sometimes you run into when you have a dog like Maxie that was bred to really like to retrieve, when they see the shotgun come out, they get so excited that they have a hard time controlling themselves, especially during the adolescent period. And kind of so what happens is, like you get your shotgun out, you get your range bag out, or, or, or you know, whatever you're taking to the hunting field or training field, the dog sees it and he starts getting excited and he gets in the truck and he starts jumping around the truck and being a little bit crazy. And so you're in a hurry, maybe you just got home from work, so you end up fussing at the dog, right? That's happened to all of us. Well, listen, now you took an activity that was supposed to be fun for you and supposed to be fun for the dogs, and you've added an element of stress, and the dogs never uh, perform as well under stress as they do uh, when they're calm, you know? Okay, so a simple way to get around having to fuss too much is just every evening, grab your shotgun, you know, even if you live in the suburbs, just go out in your backyard, grab your shotgun, and uh, just throw you a few, just like kind of like, you know, fun, uh, fun, fun, fun dummies, fun retrieving items, right? Where the dog can just kind of go get them. He's not under command. He's not being pressured to do anything. And it'll kind of like burn a little bit of that energy off. It'll bring that excitement level down because he'll see that shotgun come out. And instead of coming out once a week or maybe once every two weeks or, you know, who knows, maybe even once at the beginning of season, right? He sees it all the time. And since he sees it all the time, he's able to focus, you know, and it'll really help with that youthful exuberance. Georgie, move up that way. We're gonna walk up the hill a little bit, okay? And you'll notice I'm just talking to you. That's all I'm doing. I'm just talking to you and I'm doing my little drill. So this, this doesn't take any extra time, guys. All you have to do is go out. You can talk to your, uh, to your to your significant other about what happened during your work day. You can talk to your children about what happened at school that day or what happened to their sports. You know, it's just just have a good time, you know, and model calm, attentive, and polite behavior. And before you know it, when you see uh, when your dog sees you pick up your shotgun, he'll know, Maxie, he'll know that you guys are gonna go do something fun but he'll understand the context of the situation is such that the excitement is going to gradually raise, right? So he'll start to like really look at you and see what, uh, what your energy level's like. And if your energy level's kind of low to moderate because you're talking to the spouse or you're talking to your children, well, then he'll do the activity at that energy level, you know? Then when you're in your truck, you know, hey, practice getting into your truck and throwing you a few little fun dummies like this. Uh, when you're getting in your truck, he'll look at you and he'll see that you're kind of focused on the activities surrounding the truck, loading the truck. And then same thing when you get to the training field or the hunting field, you unload your truck. And then see, now the activities start to ratchet up and then you can get excited in a controlled manner and you can funnel all that excitement into the actual retrieving activity of game, you know? So, Try to, try to maybe not fuss so much and uh, just help the dog modulate his energy level through tons and tons of uh, experience, you know? But look how calm Max he is. Very nice. And if you have a dog that's this calm on your way to the field, you're gonna be happy with him. If you get to the field and he's that calm until it's time to work, you're gonna be super happy with him. Uh, and you're especially gonna be happy with yourself because you're gonna look like an awesome trainer. All right, I'll see y'all next week.